Hey everyone, I'm here with Jody, uh, the producer of this uh, amazing Ghostbuster game, and I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. You go ahead and give me your big pitch on what this game is, and I want to hear from the producer himself what his elevator pitch is when he's selling this game to somebody. No worries. It's a, it's a, a role-playing, card-collecting, puzzle-fighting game. There's a lot of genres mixed together that, that's working really well. So we've got the collecting side, all the characters from the Ghostbusters movies, from the cartoons, uh, from the comic books, and we're using a sort of match-three puzzle engine uh, turn-based style uh, to provide a sort of puzzle fighting game. Yeah, the turn-based style kind of threw me off at first. I didn't know what I was doing initially, but then like right when I got into it, I started changing the pieces around. I was like, oh, this is, oh, I got this completely. Now I'm, I'm kicking ass here. I'm destroying these ghosts and stuff. So well, Ghostbusters is an amazing franchise. How are we staying true to what people love about Ghostbusters? Well, it's all about the characters, and that's what this game is about. As I say, collecting the characters, leveling them up. You know, you've got a pocket of, of Ghostbusters characters. Uh, you know that you're looking after. And yeah, Slimer in my pocket. You know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So and that's great. And I mean, I, of course, I recognize you know Egon, Slimer, all the original guys, even the people from the first two movies that that we all know and love. Even some zombies that I maybe or not zombies, but ghosts that I remember, like a taxi driver. So it was really great. Um, I love giving that a chance. Um, what? Anything else you want to tell me about the game? Like the puzzles? The, how intricate does it get? I mean, it's. it's we have levels of buying characters, and then we have power-ups. Sure. And then what else? Is there anything else? It's a very strategic game. I mean, we've got lots of different types of powers. We've got sort of shields that shield you, uh, strength things that strength powers that increase your power. You can trap your opponent. You can poison your opponent. You can confuse them and repel the attacks against them. And it's really a case of leveling up your team, getting the right characters to defeat your opponents as the game gets progressively harder. And then we've got a story, a story mode which gets harder and harder as you work your way through those five episodes. But we've also got a, an online versus mode uh, with regular events that change every couple of days. And you're going to need to get a great team to, to defeat your opponents in that online mode. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to check this out. And this is available on all uh, mobile devices? Yeah, it's going to be iOS first. Uh, we're launching this summer and then uh, Android will follow very soon after that. Awesome. Well, make sure you check out this game. I highly recommend it. I had a lot of fun. Nice little puzzle game for your phone when you're waiting for an airplane to show up on time. But Jody, again, thank you so much for meeting with us. And remember, for all things E3, stay here on Press Start TV.